Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. So today, um, well today I think I've lost my mind. So you know, you guys know how, you know, anything that has to do with stitching, embroidering, sewing, threads, and needles pretty much freak me out. However, this morning I have decided to do myself kind of a, uh, I don't know, what would you call it, a fabric journal, slow stitch journal, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I have picked out some items here I wanted to share with you guys. So I have this piece of um, stamp fabric here that just says memories. And then we have this crocheted lace. This is vintage. And then this was the piece I was fixing to work on. And this is um, quilt. There's a good bit of quilt in here. Then we have this piece that already has the design on it. And then this little piece. And of course I'm going to cut all this down to this size. And then we have this piece. Love the fringe on the bottom. And this one as well. And then this one I like this little. I don't know what this is. But anyway really cute. So again we're going to cut all this down. And then I have that piece of quilt. There is lots of quilt in here. And then that piece of crocheted lace. We'll just leave that little pretty thing the way it is. And then this. What is this called? Ticking. And then this. I may pick something else for the center. I'm not sure. But we're going to be dressing it up with lace. We're going to be doing some slow stitching. This is something that's going to take quite a while. Oh, I've got this little piece that has this butterfly on it. So I thought about cutting him out and stitching him on. Some other little pieces of um, lace and things over here. And we have some flowers here we may just stitch on there but we're just going to do all kinds of um, things in this so yeah I just I don't know felt the need to and like I said this will just be a little something um, for me so I guess I will go ahead and pull this one out since that's what we're going to get started on today okay let's see what are we doing here all right so I do have, you know, this was left over from my last hashtag 52 tags handmade. So they are already, you know, threaded. You guys know how I struggle with that. Um, so I guess we will just maybe start down here at the bottom somewhere. It's kind of tough to get that through there. And just do us some um, stems maybe. But we're just going to play around and see how it comes out. Hope you're all doing well today. It is Monday and I'm off today. It's, uh, it's been up since a little after 5 and now it's a little after 9. Um, yeah, just been playing around, listening to music mainly. Hadn't. Oh, I did, guys. I am doing a um, swap. It's a loaded envelope um, in Dorothy's Facebook group, done by Dorothy. And, um, yeah, so I thought I was done with it. I sent her pictures of it. I was really proud and um, a little worried, you know, and just hope that ever what swap partner I get, you know, loves it. Um, but, yeah, I think I did that. When did I send that? Last night, maybe? Oh, I don't remember. But, anyway, um <laughs> this morning at like 6 o'clock I was actually making more things to shove in that poor little thing you're not getting anything else in that envelope um, but yeah I was really excited to be involved in that swap and then I have a, another swap in um, Fifi's I don't remember the rest of it so you have to forgive me so I'm anxiously awaiting the person look at there I unthreaded it of course I did get that and then I did do I think I did a video because we did bookmarks and of course I had never oh look I just broke that okay let's find another one hopefully hopefully I have another one is there one up there nope all right let's see guys because lord knows I can't thread that without one of those little thingies let's see what we have in our little box here aha there's one that may be my last one I'm going to have to order some, guys. If not, we're going to be in trouble. And there will be no stitching going on. Let's see. 
Yep, I guess I could look in my other vintage sewing boxes and see if there's anything over there. Probably need to do that. And get them over here and get them ready because Lord knows. Okay, come here. But yeah, I uh, really enjoyed doing those swaps. And I'm doing another one uh, with Fifi's group that's actually... Um, where we are swapping uh, napkins so excited about that too come on what is this thing doing it's not even open that one's this one's probably gonna break in a minute guys um so yeah i like doing the swaps i really enjoy those okay let's see if we can get this back in here uh, come on fingers work with me here there we go so I guess that one can be tossed in the garbage um, but yeah I do enjoy those Uh, off today I have a um, eye appointment which I need because you know I can't thread needles because I can't see them eye appointment today at 2.30 so other than that I'm just going to be playing in my craft room all day <clears throat> throat's a little agitated today I've been sitting in here in the craft room messing around and listening to music and belting out the um, singing knowing that that's not good for my voice but hey I did it anyway okay so maybe we can get can we get one more maybe nope I don't think we can because we're fixing to undo that again alright so let's try to get this tied off maybe yep there we go more than one way to skin a cat we got it okay so there's that so let's see do we want to do what do we want to do let's see let's get this color maybe and let's do what do I want to do see I know what I want to do and then I forget how to do it okay so we go here and then here, here, and back down. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to refresh my memory. That goes through there. And then that goes back down. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, yeah, that's what we want to do. I know, guys. Huge waste of time and embroidery flaws all right so I think we'll do some of those what is that the um what's that stitch called I done forgot I guess I need to draw a picture of all the stitches and write it down huh there's an idea okay come on work with me here oh man you guys know what I just did <laughs> exactly and this is a little bitty eye on this one okay we got that part in there all right not too bad not too bad okay so this one you do turn a 
upside down. So let's go. Let's go here. And then we will go back down here. And then back up. Nope, not there. Maybe there. Put that through there. Here we go. That one turned out okay. I think I kind of covered up that green right there. Pretty close to it anyway, but I think that's okay. Okay, so now let's do one. Where do we want to do one? We want to do one over here. There. Right and go here. Back up about there and let's see how that one turns out. Okay, yeah, that's a good spot. Oh, yeah, that's cute. Okay. Uh, upside down, upside down, upside down this way. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I got crossed around there. Let's go. Mm. Let's go here. And then let's go here. This will be a bit smaller one. Why is that doing that? I'm gonna get that one tight enough. Oops. Oh, look, get under there. Okay. Cute, cute. Should we do one more on the side here? Let's see. Just do maybe a shorter one. How about that? Shorty, shorty. Get in there. Okay. Did I think this one I want to go straight down? Oh, yep, yeah, that's cute. Maybe we could put some more green back here. Am I in camera, guys? I'm not even paying attention. I am excited about doing this, but of course intimidated all at the same time. Okay. So there's that. Now let's do... What do we want to do, guys? Um, y'all see what I've been stacking on? Isn't that terrible? Yeah, that was for the ride home from work last night. Um, do we want to do purple, or do we want to do my beautiful pink? I think I want to do the darker pink. Go get that done. Alright, so pay attention, Lori. What am I doing here? Okay, so we're going to come up. Right there, maybe. And then I think we're only going to do two wraps. One, two, because this is pretty thick embroidery floss. Ah oh, man, it went to the side too far. You know what? That'll be okay. Why don't we just fill this in and do another one right here? 
right. One, two, no, two, Lori, two. One, two. I appear to be struggling to count to two. Okay, that's all right. And then what if we did another one right here? I don't know. I don't know, guys. We're just playing. Oh, well, I think it's cute. It's got three of them. Looks like a little flower. Like a full flower. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to try to pay attention. And I did say try. I think we got this one in the middle good. right back down there oh yeah that's good I think maybe it's up a little bit too high so maybe we'll put another one here practice makes perfect right guys it's supposed to anyway we'll do another one here and have two on this one and then we'll just try again on the next one and see if we can get it where it's just one. Oh, yeah, that's cute. So that works out just fine. Okay. Okay. So maybe I'll make this one bigger and go three. I think when I do three with this, though, it looks kind of funky. One, two, three. That may have been four. I am not even sure, guys, but it may have been four. Oh, well, that's cute. Yep, that one turned out really good. Oh, you guys can't see that. It's not in focus. Okay. So now let's see where this one's going. Let's do about right there. And I think we'll do three or four on it. I don't know. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay, come on. Oh, yeah, that's cute. Okay, I like it. All right. So, let's tie this one off. Twisty, twisty. That's cute. Okay, I like how this is coming out so far. Um, let's see. Hmm. What else do we want to do? Why don't we do some lighter pink and do them daisy thingies? Daisy flowers. I think I vaguely remember exactly how to do that okay now the question is where do we want our daisy thingy let's go here and then you go back down really close to that I believe And then you come back up where you want to, and that goes over that, right? Is that right? I think that's right. Let's see. 
that's right okay and then we go back down there to secure it on there okay and then we're going to do another one and go pretty close to that one And then I'm going to go back down on this side. And then we're going to see about where we want that to go. And I think right there is good. her in okay and now we're going to go back up there I believe I don't think I got this one close enough there however when we fill it in I think we'll be okay because we're going to fill in the middle Maybe I'm getting them too tight or something. Okay. Now we will... And I'm going to come in and fill in the middle of these with a different color. In case you're wondering about that. Kind of hard to get that through there. All right. Yep, right there. All right. And then I guess we'll do one here. And then we'll change the color back down there. Almost did it, guys. Almost unthreaded my needle. Okay. That one right there looks really wonky. Huh. Well, it is what it is, guys. Not perfect. I definitely need to practice on these. All right, so we have that one as wonky as it seems. Maybe once we fill it in, we'll be okay. So we're going to fill it in. Oh, there's not enough purple on there. Maybe I need to get more purple. What if we did blue, though? Let's just throw caution to the wind and do blue. It's different anyway. It's nothing to say it has to be a particular color. Alright. Let's get that 
that then. All right. Now let's see. Let's go right there. Then back down. Oh, look, goofy, goofy self. Pulled it all the way through. Okay. I think we got it enough. We'll see. We'll see if we can get it in the middle where it should be. That should be it. Alright, so I think that works. Oh yeah, that's cute. And I like the color, so yeah. Go there. And back down there. I think. Put that through there. Cute. Aw, oh, man. That is cute, though, guys. Yep, I think it is, anyway. Okay. So, let's rethread, and I will probably be working on some of this, you know, like off camera when I'm sitting in the living room. I just take my little basket of goodies in there, whatever you call it, sewing box, because so I did it the other night, and then my thing of embroidery flaws and just sat in there while my husband was watching TV and did a little bit of practicing so yeah we'll do that okay now we need to come up oh there good job good job there. Go back down there. And then we'll come up. I think about there will be good. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Yeah, this one right here is really wonky wonky. there then cut back down there and maybe we can oh I hope I have enough of this to do that last pedal yep I'll do that right there Yeah, I don't think it helped that pedal much. It's just a crazy looking pedal. I'll just come up here. Go back down. And then come up here. Nope, I think that's too far up. Maybe there.
Oh, well, I think that's okay, guys. What do you guys think? Hmm. Yep. Just need to practice. Ooh, it's getting hot in here. I'm having a... <coughs> excuse me, having a hot flash one. So, I think we'll fill in the middle, and then we'll go ahead and call this a video um, for today. And like I said, when I work on it off camera, I will... When I do it on camera, I will, of course, um, share it with you guys. What I've done. So, we know we still have to do the stem. And I kind of want it coming down in between these. And I will do probably this green. Yeah, we'll do this green. Here. Okay, and do we want to fill in the middle with yellow, maybe? It's a darker yellow. I think that'll show up good. Okay, so let's get a knot in here. Poke myself, of course. All right. So, now we're going to fill... All of this in here. I mean, okay. We're good. We're good. That one's like really, really thick. That uh, green one. What am I pulling on? So that one's okay. Come back up there. I apologize if I keep getting out of camera, guys. Oh, man. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. We got it, we got it. I think at this point I'll be okay without it anyway. Do we need anything else? I think that's good, actually. That one's a bit smaller. If I tried to come up. Right there. Ouch. Hello, finger. Yeah, these poor things look so crooked. Poor little petals. Okay, that's what we got there. Not sure how good you guys can see that. So, I don't know, too, guys. When I put this in the book, I wasn't thinking about that. You're going to be able to see all this hot mess back. Ouch. All of this hot mess back here. So, I don't know. I guess we just leave it that way, maybe, or cover it up with some type of lace or something, maybe. I'm not sure, guys. I'm just winging it. I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, I think it's cute. 
Okay. Now let's go ahead and do the stem. And then that will be it. Nope. For today. Where do, where do I put the steel mat, guys? Where am I putting it? Right there. Or should I come down up in between those a little bit like that? Then I want to go like in between those two. Okay. Do that and then go back down there. Maybe. And then come up about there. And then go back down there. Well, that's cute. Okay, let's see what we want to do. There. Even though that's awful close, I have a plan, I think. Sure, though. Let's see. Come up there. Nope. I pulled that one right back out. Went up the exact same hole. Maybe that's not the exact same hole. Okay. Did do that going to, I'm attempting a leaf guys I do not know how to do leaves um, but we're just gonna see how it turns out real quick okay. maybe so far so good Yeah, not too bad, not too bad, guys. Go up there. Maybe now do a wee bit shorter one. Oh, yeah, that's cute. Yep, kind of like it. Anyway, it somewhat resembles a leaf, maybe. Here. Okay, come on. Then I have a little bit of yellow here, and I know it's ridiculous, but I'm going to try to come up here and then go back down right here just to try to fill in that yellow so there's not that gap in that leaf. And we did it. Oh, I think it's cute. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Okay. Alright, so we're going to tie this off and call it a video for today. Yep, I really do like how that turned out. It's going to be fun. I'm going to have to find me a special little... Oh, man. That's okay. Look, guys. Mm -hmm. Let's just do this. What about that? find me a little bitty box to put all of these things in all right guys so there's the start of that one yep it's definitely slow stitching let's see this to be here
Yep, that's going to be cute. We have that. We can put our memories here. And find a little something to go here. Oh, I'll tell you what I was thinking. So I have this beautiful stamp. I actually have uh, two of hers. Um, and it's from Lorna over at Taylor Made Journals. So, if I'm not mistaken... <coughs> excuse me. This was number one. Can you guys see that? Anyway, probably can't. But, oh, there you go. A little bit. Beautiful stamp. So this is number one. And I think I'm a number one on the back. Because I told her I was going to buy her whole collection. And this is number two, I believe it was. And it's two different stamps. So what I was thinking was we could take the vintage and stamp it there. What do you guys think? So we have memories there and vintage there. Maybe do a couple of those little naughty looking, whatever you call them, stitches on the outside and just let that be that. I think that would be super, super cute if we had the word vintage here. Just imagine it, guys. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do with that. Um, and um, Lorna's stamp number three is on its way. And I think someone's already given her an idea possibly for stamp number four. I told her I would be buying her whole collection. Absolutely love these stamps. So you guys go over there and see Lorna at Taylor Made Journals and get your stamps because these are amazing. Um, yeah, she told me to stop talking about her stamps because that's why she's, I'm the reason she's having to work so hard. But she makes beautiful stamps, guys. So, yeah, you guys go on over there and see See my friend Lorna. She's a sweetheart. Funny, funny, funny. Funny girl she is. And I love it because, you know, I do like to smile and laugh. And these days, I certainly need all of that I can get. Okay, guys. So, I think maybe we will take our cute little pink sewing box here. And just see if our girl will fit in here I'm not sure that she will but we're gonna try that way oh no look 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 I think that's good enough that way she'll be snug as a bug and she may not close but she's gonna be in here some of all of our little goodies here. Take that little tag off of there. Yep. We got it. Snug, 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 snug. Okay. Alright. Yep. Good enough. She closed. So there you go. What more could you ask for? Yep. Sorry about that, dude. Okay. So this one right here, guys. I'll go ahead and show you this one. So I did get it out to cut it and put it in there. However, guys, this little baby is, we'll go ahead and do her folded. She is over seven and a half tall, almost eight, by about just shy of six wide when folded. Wouldn't that make a perfect journal cover? You don't have to do anything but stitch a signature into there just that quick. Put something pretty on the front. And I'm okay that it doesn't exactly match up. I mean, yeah, I'm not going to fool with all that. But, yeah, I just thought this would be a beautiful journal. Oh, we could put lace here, guys. Oh, the creative, yeah, not that. The creative juices are flowing like a lace pocket here. How pretty would that be? Yep, I think that would be amazing. Put us a lace pocket here. Then when you put in the signature, you got your two pockets. Open this up. Oh, I just, um... Dee Dee, my beautiful friend, beautiful, beautiful friend, Dee Dee. Love you so much, Dee Dee. Just sent me this beautiful journal cover, guys. Um, yeah, and I have it right here close. She's not getting far out of my sight. Look at her. Yes, I'm sharing again. And I think all of this is where she stamped on the fabric. But on this cover, she has a pocket there and a pocket there. Um, and, of course, it goes all the way around to the back. Oh, look, Faith. There you go. My beautiful butterflies. Um, so maybe we could do a pocket of some sort, perhaps. I think it would probably be cute anyway. So, sorry guys, but I gotta get her up here. Snug as a bug and within arm's reach. Okay, there she is, because I'm gonna make me my own personal, um, 
probably faith journal out of that because I love it. All right, guys, that is it for today. I will stop rambling. Look, I don't need to lose that. I think that's my last one, right? Didn't we say that was the last one? Here, let's put her in here. Y'all don't let me forget where I'm putting her now because I will forget. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Oh, we done, we done threw it in there. Well, here's some of my playing around, guys. Y'all remember these? That one's kind of cute. I, yeah, I may cut this one out and do something with it. That's kind of cute. Uh, the other ones, that was supposed to be a rose, I think. Leave something to be desired, but whatever. We're just playing around, having fun. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I love you guys. I appreciate all your support. Um, to my older subbies, thank you guys for being here with me. Uh, especially the ones that have been here since the beginning. But a huge, huge thank you for coming on over to all of my new subscribers. I really do appreciate you being here. And I hope you can put up with putting up with my nonsense. So there's that. I love you guys and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.